here, welcoming you guys back to the channel here with our very first, although it shouldn't be, movie review of 2018. And if you can't tell by the footage on in the background, Black Panther, uh, Tomb Raider, Oops. which is based, which if you guys don't know, is based on the popular video game made by Square Enix, which the copied the popular movie by Angelina Jolie. No, it technically only copied the movie, technically the game. It uh, copied the first game with the second game's villains. Yeah, and I just want to add right here that this is actually that there will be absolutely zero spoilers in this, so people who want to go see it can go see this yeah, unspoiled. There will be no this spoilers. is just our personal opinions on it, so just take this review with a little bit of a grain of salt. Yes. But anyways, if you do want to keep seeing movie reviews in the channel, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. Speaking of Tomb Raider, they've announced the new game. Oh, for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. God's sake. He doesn't like Tomb Raider games. No, I do like Tomb Raider. It's just, when is enough enough? Well, considering they planned a trilogy since the beginning. True. But anyway, back to the feature film. Uh, yes. What did you think of it? Since you were a resident Tomb Raider expert, do you feel like... you resident, I'd probably have to sweat the Resident evil. Evil. Since you were the expert on the Tomb Raider games, how do you feel, like... You've played all of them, right? Like all the new Tomb Raider games? Uh, I've played the originals as well. Alright, how do you think the, like, this, like, kind it of... It follows the concept uh, of the first one. It follows well, its the plot. Well, of the first reboot, you mean? The first reboot. It follows its plot, but twists it. It makes its own version to stay separate. Uh, there's a lot of uh, deviation from the source material. Uh, but it follows the villains of the second game, and uh, the action of the second game. Mm. Where uh, this movie, Laura, isn't a survivor, she's a fighter. Whereas the first game, she was a survivor, not a fighter. Yeah, I mean, and did you feel that the difference... What did you think of the differences in the thing compared... Actually, in the film compared to the game? My only problem with the film, it, it was a great film. It just felt rushed. I gotta admit, there were times... Uh, actually, no. The problem for me was that it took... Dragged on for a bit. Yeah, the whole uh, finding her father's... Uh, the whole... Start when she's not on the island or not on the ship. Yeah, the island could have been cut off. The island is. She's on the island in the uh, show for a long t uh, game for a long time. Well, she didn't even spend two days on the island. Yeah. She wasn't surviving or scavenging, but it it could have spent way more time on the island. And I think the whole going uh, looking for a boat and all that, all that could have easily been skipped. Exactly, like the whole, like the whole, uh, like. The whole part where she's home and, that, and all that. Yeah, the whole sub story of uh, your Bella and father going missing around the same time as her father, that all could have just been skipped. Yeah, I mean, that was there horrible. were some elements of the plot need, didn't need to be put in. Like, as you said, her father being missing. Yeah. Which, even though in the games, he's dead. Yeah, blew his own brains out. Well, allegedly. It's, it's highly speculated. I take At the end of the second game, uh, Trinity did it, but because Anna it was hired to kill him, but she refused to do it because she fell in love with him. Who in this is played by Kristen Scott Thomas, actually. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, so the cast in this, I actually quite... Well, there were a few hit and misses, I will admit. I like the villain, Walton Goggins. The villain, I actually, was one of the parts I, I actually I kind enjoyed. of understood his uh, situation. He wanted to get home to his daughters and was willing to do anything to it. And now the controversial part for me... His character, the name of his character was the name of the villain from the first game. But the villain had no association with Trinity. He was a madman who had been stranded on the island for 30 years. Yeah. Now, my problem with the casting is the main character. But Alicia Vikander pulled She's off, a good actress. She pulled off the British perfectly, in my opinion. She's Why? No, she's no... Uh, she shouldn't have... Uh, should have been a British actress, in my opinion. She, it, it should have been Daisy Ridley uh, from like, from Star Wars, right? I'll put a picture up here of uh, right. somebody that that photoshopped an image of Lara Croft and put like Daisy Ridley's face on it. I'll put it right there. What about the armpits? No, it wasn't the armpits. It was uh, well for Alicia Vikander, it was like it was the CGI neck. neck. But the the actually yeah, some of the plot was a bit miffy for me. Some of the acting could have been a little bit better. Some of the storyline could have been cut off a bit, but I will admit it is gorgeous looking. It's when right. it gets to the some of it, especially yeah, and the, some of the, the chase scenes, the running scenes, the, chase uh, scenes, the whole environment collapsing. Uh, it it felt like the game. I thought of. the traps were a bit of a diner. I mean, they were 
The only good trap, in my opinion, was the floor fall one. Yeah, and... Uh, but this the fella goes, what happened to the floor? And you know what, the, the one, actually... You guys may remember our Atomic Blonde movie where we discussed the, the, man, who would, who the man who would not die. This movie is what happens if you give the lead actress that role. Because there were a lot of pl- fit scenes in that where Laura Croft should have died. The airplane. The hitting the tr- like her head off the tree whilst falling down. Yeah, it would have at least and cracked over her skull. She uh, should have been dead. And that show from the pipe? The ship. But she, like, the very first the time. The rocks would have ripped her to shreds. Yep. But, uh, honestly... I'm going to be a little bit more biased towards Angelina Jolie's. You like Jolie's, I hate it. Let me put it this way. The first one I like because it had Rimmer from Red Dwarf in it. Mm. It had Daniel Craig doing one of the worst American accents ever. Which I said no peeking. Not Logan Lucky. Which but this was good film. Yeah. Go check it out actually. But, uh, and also, uh, it also had Angelina Jolie looking badass. But you gotta admit, she did look badass in it. I think she looks better ass than Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Nah, wanted. No, that was a terrible film. I, okay, you know what? We're not here to discuss that. Yeah. Tomb Raider. Uh, honestly, overall, I thought Tomb Raider was a mixed bag. Honestly, I thought that sure there were some like good elements to it, like the cinematography. It was uh, better than Justice League. Anything's better than Justice League. It's not saying much, but the. Uh, the cinematography I liked, the soundtrack, the score I liked, and some of the effects were decent enough. But the acting, actually, but the acting, most of the effects, and some, and the, like, some parts of the story that cut off, the, the hold it back for me. The beginning of the film, though it was funny, could have been cut out, you know, the whole being a key, uh, the, the boxing. The boxing, yeah, the bike that, riding. The bike riding was fun, but it should have been cut out. I mean, it's not... When you hear Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, you don't think... Actually, like, Chris Hoy. Now, do you? My fear with the film was it was taking too much Uncharted into it. You know what my fear is? How it's going to fit, because if you guys don't know, the this is supposed starts... to be part of a Square Enix universe with Hitman, with Rupert Friend, which I like, I Sumi, hate it. Uh, Deus Ex, Just Cause... Tomb Raider and Far Cry, I believe. Nobody will ever beat Fast Monty and Grow. Yeah. But, anyways, uh, it's time to go on to our final verdicts. Uh, what would you. 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? Really? 6. It was watchable. Anything that's in a round of 4 is watchable. Strange, because last time I. Actually, when we were out, you said you'd give it an 8 out of 10. No, I was iron, I gave it 8 out of 10. Oh, you gave. Mm. Oh, yeah, you gave it 6, you gave it 8. Yeah, you gave it 4. No, I gave it... Actually, I'm going to give it a 5. It's it's an average film. I mean... It's watchable. It's not the best video game adaptation, but it's not the worst. It's also not Holes. The best... Uh, the worst film ever made, Holes. Yes. Uh, so if, you're, if you're going to... If you only have, like, some money for... If you only have, like, a small amount of money to watch one film in March... Don't I would watch recommend this. that. Yeah. Don't watch this. Quiet instead... Place, yeah, instead... Wait for either Isle of Dogs, which we'll do a review on, or Ready Player One, which I, Is that I myself. Is that fireplace in March? April. Oh. But anyways, uh, that's our opinions on Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. No, just Tomb Raider, wasn't it? Uh, those were our opinions of it. What did you guys think? Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you even like the games? What's your favorite game? What's your favorite in the Tomb Raider franchise? Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments down below. And for now, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much, Gamerlord, for joining me. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you're not new, press that bell icon, getting notifications, and Bing. thank you. Closing thoughts that you want to say to the audience? Words of wisdom? A word is just a feeling and expression and sound. Until next time guys, peace.